Good after evening. Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with a half case from a fresh case of our last case break of 2018 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. Pick your team number 15 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Second half already in the store, so check it out. So here on the 17th, there's break 15. Thanks to Ben grabbing that Tigers last spot mojo. Thanks to everybody for getting to the action. Gavin was waiting since Saturday. There's everyone else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, as a little, as a nice send off for our last case of museum collection, and just to help things move things along, and give some people some break credit for tomorrow's new releases on jazbeeshobbyland.com, we're giving away not twenty but twenty five dollars of break credit for Pick Your Team fifteen. So I'll randomize everybody's names at the at the end of the break. And the name on top will get 25 bucks of break credit. A code will be emailed to you. Um, I may add some break credit to the second half, so stay tuned for that. Jaspieshobbyland.com. All right, let's pop open this fresh case here. This is our last case for the time being. Thanks, everybody. It's been a lot of fun. We just knocked out our last case of Inception earlier today, too, which was nice. Did I upload that Inception video? <laughs> I don't remember. I'll check in a second. All right. All right, so there's six boxes on the left and right side. One, two, three on the dice roll for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. TJ guessing two. And it's two. Sorcery. All right, so we'll do the left side. This right side here, I'll make a few, some Wolverine scratches here. So we all know that it's from the same case. In fact, we'll set this aside here. We'll probably, we might get close to knocking on another one tonight. We should. It'll be really busy with new releases tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. So we might not have time for museum collection tomorrow. So we might have to wait until Thursday. All right. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So this is the first half of our last case, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want to finish off the case tonight, let's do it. Got the all-star game going right now. So a lot of fun. I actually have not been really paying close attention to it. Um, AL is leading 2-1. Oh. Oh, uh, warning track. All right, here we go. Garrig, Bellinger, Jackie. We got Frank Thomas to 150. So we'll top load all of those before they go. I'm going to leave this card with the break credit right here so I don't forget. We got Encarnacion, 11 out of 50. Oh, so they're all on just Judge, Trout, and Contreras solo shots? All right. You have the base cards here. All right, so behind the sketch card reproduction of Chip Off the Old Block is Jock Peterson. Nice, 28 out of 99, dual relic and autograph. Little uh, Dodger Joe Mojo going to Paul Cool Whit with that one. Behind Jacob deGrom is primary pieces, Xander Bogarts, 34 out of 99. Nice. few pieces of his lumber and his jersey. That goes to Chris Rowe and the Red Sox. Now 
Behind Yohan Mankata is Kyle Schwarber, 50 out of 199. That is for Jason L. and the Cubs. And then behind Rhino is a dual relic, Max Scherzer and his teammate Steven Strasburg, 2 out of 50. Meaningful material going to Chris Rowe and the Nationals. All right, that was box one here. Let's do box two. Who does everyone have winning this game, by the way? Did not did not put any pennies on this game. I put pennies on the home run derby last night. I had Max Muncy to win me a handful of pennies. Uh, plus 650. I think Nick Jaspi put a couple of pennies on um uh whatchamacallit? On Matt Kemp to win the MVP, the all-star MVP at plus 4,500, 45 to 1, which is actually not, a, for a long shot, um, for a long shot, that's not that bad, actually, that's not, that's, there could be worse options at plus 4,500. Now, we'll save one of those Otanis, too. All right, what do we want here? Ordinary gamers. Ben wants some Tigers love. That's for the Angels. There's some Angels. And Laurel wants an Almar bat, like just a, a little slice of his bat or like an actual bat barrel. One of them's easy. The other one's hard <laughs> to do. All right. Behind Andrew McCutcheon is Triple Relic and Autograph, Amin Rosario. 29 out of 149. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Rob is right. The uh, the Jumbo Relic and Autograph is also um, is also a case hit. There's a couple of case hits in here. There's Randy Johnson revealing a quad relic. Nolan Ryan. Nice. 12 out of 25. That's Astros edition of Nolan Ryan. That's Tom Nichols. Nice one, Tom. Behind the wizard is a chip off the old block, Chipper Jones. 8 out of 25. Gold ink autograph. Premium Prince auto for Sen Yin and the Braves. Nice. All right, a couple base cards here. And behind Beltre is... A single rather that's Ender Enciarte. 43 out of 50. Game used material. Another one. Another brave for Sen Yin. Oh, is this a case? I think, yeah, these are these might be one per case, right? I, the premium prints are the ones that are horizontal this way. Trevor Jones has a great autograph. Alright. Next box. Good luck. No, no, uh, no, no one's meant. No one thinks or no one cares who wins this game. I asked a little bit earlier, NL or AL. I'm pulling for the NL, obviously. I'm a National League guy. Go National League. 
Get the DH out of there. All right. Redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? There you go. Gavin, Phillies guy. So he's saying NL all the way. Sam, NL all the way. That's right. NL. All right. Roberto Clemente out of 150. We got Nolan Ryan Rangers edition this time out of 99. Tanaka, Piazza, J.D. Martinez, Mike Trout, Hank Aaron. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter who wins then. Nolan Ryan, Corey Seager, just pride, league pride. Ichiro, Mejia, Daniel Murphy. Behind Ozzie Smith is Quad Relic, Daniel Murphy, Trey Turner, Steven Strasburg, and Max Scherzer. That is out of 39 out of 75. All Nats, all going to Chris Rowe. Gavin is guessing Hoskins or Nola Auto, but he is he's assuming they're already signed, but you never know. I think they did. All right, we've got behind Bo. Reproduction is Buster Posey, 8 out of 50. Oppo Joe Mojo for Lee and the San Francisco Baseball Giants. We got bonus hits right here too. We've got JP Crawford for the Phillies. 45 out of 50. So Gavin is on the board with your fills. Nice. And then the other hit is Paul Goldschmidt. Look at that. Triple relic and autograph. 41 out of 40, 149. I think he hit one to the warning track just a few moments ago. There you go. Jose with the Diamondbacks. There you go, Jose. I'm sure uh, I'm sure Arthur will be happy to get that from you. Arthur, I'm sure Jose will give you a good price on that. Jose doesn't want that. He's a Dodgers guy. You are due to receive a single player signature. All you single players. All you single players. Swatches dual relic autograph. All you single players. All you single players. Short name, J. Shohei doesn't start with a J. J. Oh, J. J. P. Crawford. Look at that single player signature swatches dual relic autograph for the Phillies. Wait, didn't he sign? I guess he didn't sign the the, the relic ones. Come on, J. P. All right. Well, there you go, Gavin. Wrong names, but you got the right team. Yours. They're interviewing Machado like he's already gone. All right, next box. Roy saying the last time the All-Star Game mattered was when Pete Rose barreled over Ray Foss. Probably. Things were different back then. There, there were different reasons for that. Um, I think interleague play has kind of watered down the All-Star Game. Because this because before, uh, before the All-Star, or before they started doing interleague play regularly, the only time you'd see the AL and the NL play together was the All-Star Game and the World Series. That was it. So it was a treat. Now it's less of a treat. <laughs> you know what? I was thinking about that, Rob. Rob's like, Machado should just move to the other dugout during the game. What if that was the big reveal to announce the trade? Machado just appears on the other side in, a, in Dodgers white and blue. I'm sure the commissioner's office would not like that. You know, take, taking attention away from the from, from the All Star game, it'd be kind of hilarious, though. So. 
He is indeed a free agent at the end of the season, Gavin. Sixty-two out of ninety-nine. Wow, that that looks like a uh, a sketch card right there, folks. There's Clemente Moncada, like an actual sketch card. Ryan, uh, Rhino and Giancarlo Stanton. I don't know who that is, but there's Buster Posey, Cody Bellinger. And there's the reproduction, Noah Syndergaard. Robinson Cano, Jackie Robinson, Buster Posey. And a bonus hit right there, too. What a case so far. Look at that. All right, so there's Big Boppy, David Ortiz base car. That reveals. And Ian Happ, what's the Haps? 140 out of 199, piece of his bat, jersey, and autograph. That goes to the Cubs. Jason L. with that one. Behind King Felix is Meaningful Material Dual Relic, both for the Red Sox, Mookie Betts and Ben Benintendi. That looks like a Father's Day patch, 24 out of 35. That'll be for Chris Rowe and the Bow Sox. Just throwing top loaders all over the place. We've got Brian Dozier, 125 out of 299. I think he's a free agent at the end of the season, too. It's a guy that the Dodgers were kind of looking at to to um, fill that hole at second base. Logan Forsythe hasn't quite worked out for the Dodgers. That's a Twinkie autograph for Paul Cool Whitlock. And we've got Steven Strasburg, 38 out of 75 for Chris Rowe and the Nats. All right, so behind Mike Trout looks like the actual sketch card, and that is... Paul Canerco, nice. Looks like some watercolor and some maybe some color pencil on the front. That's a good looking hit. Paul Canerco, White Sox. That goes to Robert Rohr. Nice one, Robert. I don't know who the artist is, but there you go. I think these are yeah, these are one of ones. All aboard! Whoop, whoop. I think the other sketch card we got was Bryce Harper and now Paul Conner. One guy that uh, that I wish that the Dodgers never traded. Actually, I'm going to have to take a picture of that one. That's nice. All right. Behind Mike Trout is Luis Severino out of 25. Yeah, all those drawings are decent. In fact, all the reproductions you see, those are what the what those drawings are. So they're all decent. There's Severino. Probably more than decent. I mean, yeah, exactly. Jer Good. Thanks, Jeremy Nicola. Luis Severino for the Yankees. That goes to Jeremy Merle. There you go, Jeremy. Yeah. Jeremy N. saying, yeah, not as good as a Jaspi sketch card. Exactly. But it's okay. I should random you a one-of-one -one signature. Uh, my My signature? I don't know if anybody wants that. I mean, I don't know if I should even do it. It's what? What does that sell for on eBay, Gavin? Like eight, nine thousand dollars or something like that. I can't just give those away. I mean, when your autograph is valued at like ten thousand dollars, Gavin, you can't just give those away left and right. It would, uh, it would, it would lower the value. Of the autograph. Every autograph I do continues to lower the value of my $15,000 autograph. What, do you want it to drop down to, you know, a mere $5,000 for my auto? No. Can't just give those away. I think the felt like the frame was in here. It is. Is that a one-of-one -one frame? Maybe. That's right, G Law. Yeah, I'm the I'm the real I'm a real life one of one. All right. Out of one fifty, Kyle Schorber. Is it really raining in DC? Rob Braveman saying it's raining in DC. It would be funny if a rain delay is required. That would be kind of funny. They may just call the game if it goes too long. Um, 
I was actually l listening on the radio, and they said there's actually a um, there's actually a uh, a contingency plan for if the All Star game was rained out, they just do it tomorrow, which I thought was crazy because that just all, all the everyone's rest and all that sort of stuff all gets screwed up. There's Mo, and there is Dylan Bundy out of 25. Do, do the O's keep Dylan Bundy? I mean, at this point, if the Orioles are moving Machado, they got to move. Probably not Scope. I think Scope is is under con like under contract for a little bit. Adam Jones definitely has to go. All right, that goes to Jarrett and the O's. There's Mejia to 99. All right, on this side, Roger Maris, primary pieces, Hyunjin Ryu, 92 out of 99. I think he's coming back off the DL pretty soon, which I'm looking forward to. Add some depth to that Dodgers rotation. Speaking of Machado, there he is. They were just interviewing him on TV. And there's Addison Russell out of 99. They were interviewing, I think, was Ken Rosenthal, I think, was interviewing him, and it he was pretty much talking like <laughs> like he was being traded. Like, if this is your last, you know, game as a as an Oriole, how do you feel about it? Blah 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 blah. When's Rue not on the DL? <laughs> His rookie year, when he actually was pitching very very well. If I could if if I could get that Hyunjin Rue back. All right, good luck, everybody. Behind Ichiro, the frame is... Oh, the, the, right, right, right. You're right, TJ. The one-of-one one frames are wood. These ones are out of five. Still a train whistle. I looked at it. Silver Ink Auto. This is a nice one. One out of five, Big Poppy. Silver Ink Autograph for Chris Rowe. And the Red Sox. Very, very nice. Chris, out of fives and under, you know what that means. All aboard! Woo -woo! One out of five. David Ortiz, Silver Ink Autograph. 2018 Museum Collection Baseball. Hot, hot, hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> hot. Now we have the second half of this. This seems like a pretty hot case in general, ladies and gentlemen. So let's do the second half tonight. Let's see what's inside. Let's see what magic we can pull. All right, last box. Good luck, boys and girls. Good luck, everyone. That's right. I mean, the break credit, it's almost like getting a hit right there. So even if you're hitless and you get the break credit, it's not bad. It's, that's like getting a hit. Or if you got hits... And you get the break credit. Hey, that's a cherry on top. All right, a few base cards here. We've got Chris Sale to 150. Ernie Banks, let's play 2 to 50. Couple legends right there. Corey and Chris. Pedro, Francisco, and Daniel Murphy. And behind George Brett is Triple Relic, Adam Duvall, and Autograph. 28 out of 149 for the Red Legs. That'll be for Rob. There you go. Rob with the Reds. Let's see, Rob. There you go. Bang. Hit. 
Behind Masahiro Tanaka is primary pieces quad relic Ryan Zimmerman. That's nice. You got the red, white, and blue, and a piece of his lumber. That's a good looking one. Out of 99. And you get those nice relics, Chris Rowe, Nats. You're welcome, Rob. We got Javier Baez, and behind Javier Baez is Chris with a K, Chris Davis, 002 out of 299. That's for Paul Cool Whit and the A's. And behind Nolan Ryan is Jacob DeGrom, 47 out of 50. Three color relic for the Metropolitans. Tom Nichols on the board with a Met. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Break credit coming up next. Second half is in the store. It's right here, ladies and gentlemen. Feels like a hot case. So let's knock it out. I might, might even give away some more break credit out of there. All right, so let's go to... Let's go to random.org. Let's get some dice. Let's get a blank list. Let's get everyone's names from Jose down to Chris. And let's roll the dice and let's randomize that list five and a three, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I said eight, right? <laughs> seven. And eighth and final time, eight. After eight times, congrats to DVD. No hits, but a little bit of break credit coming your way. You can use it tonight. You can use it for the new releases tomorrow. So there you go. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Second half in the store. More break credit going to be given away. So check it out, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.